so my depression came back. You know how I knew? Yeah, that's right. Shit got messy. And guys, I'm not even kidding you. I was crying ugly tears like night and day. Oh my God, it looks like I'm sweating. <laughs> Depression sucks. Depression really sucks. And you know why it sucks? It's because we still look fine on the outside. I look completely fine right now. But I haven't been doing anything all day today. All I wanted to do was lay in bed, even though I have so much to do. Like that's what depression does to you. It makes you feel like it's never gonna end and that you're the only one going through it, which is so freaking annoying. Fuck you, depression. Fuck you. <laughs> oh my God. I'm not aggressive. I'm not aggressive. <laughs> I'm just upset. I was depressed before and I was able to get out of it. And from what I learned from my recovery before, I had to take time away. I had to step back and know that there are things in my life that are contributing to, you know, accumulating stress. There's always a reason why it comes back, guys. I think that a big part of it is to have the self-awareness and to be able to call ourselves out on certain things, but also to be compassionate with ourselves, to know that there are always things to be done to better ourselves, but to also have the patience to do it and to know that we can get through it if we try. If you're going through a lot, it's important for you to find someone you can talk to, someone you love and trust, who you know is gonna respect you and your feelings. If you don't have anyone that you feel you can trust and talk to, you can seek a therapist. Therapy is something that I recommend to all my family and friends. I think it's so helpful. So do you, but if you need help, just know that there are options, there are other people you can talk to and don't feel like you're not enough, okay? What you say matters, what you feel matters, and you need someone to understand that and to support you in that way. So if I've learned anything from the last year and a half that I haven't had depression, I wanna say it's that habit and routine in terms of your mindset is so important. It's something that you have to practice every single day. So not only do we have the negative self-talk and the anxiety and the brain fog and sadness and all of that, we are also more susceptible to the negativity around us. When we get into these moments again, we need to make sure that we are really firm in our identity and finding out who we are and who we wanna be. So honestly, even though I have so much to do, so much to learn, I've made the decision and I'm not gonna tell anyone about it until right now. <laughs> I'm gonna take two weeks off for myself. My birthday is on Sunday. Woo woo, I'm turning 29, woo woo. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I'm gonna take that time off to be with family and friends. I want to recalibrate my mind so that I'm in a good spot and be here for you guys. So I wanna learn from this experience and kinda grow from it and I encourage you all to take the break that you need and don't listen to what anyone else says. Do not listen to it. If you need a break, freaking take that break. Take that break, don't listen to anyone else, okay? You got this, we got this. I've said it before and I'll say it again. You'll get through it and I'm rooting for you always, okay? I'll see you in two weeks. I love you guys. Sending healing vibes your way. Love you, bye.